What's going on guys? Tyler here with another Elementor video. We got exciting news today. Elementor is having a Black Friday sale. Shh. I wasn't supposed to tell you yet, but here I am telling you, tomorrow Elementor is going to have a Black Friday sale. This is super exciting, so check out the link down below in the description. See what kind of price you can get for Elementor. Again, like I said, that'll start tomorrow, November 24th, sometime in the morning here in the United States, but um, just kind of check. It might fluctuate depending on where you're at, but check out that link. See what kind of price you can get for Elementor Pro. This is super exciting, and from what I've seen, Elementor's Black Friday sale is usually their best deal of the year. So check that out. All right, what else? We have today um, an awesome video planned for Elementor on how to kind of make your website more responsive um, to be used through multiple devices, not just on desktop, but tablet and mobile. And there are some settings specifically to adjust your website to function correctly. And I just found out a lot of people don't know about this. I know it took me a long time to actually find these settings and uh, start using them, but they're very simple and they're very easy to use. It's just, it, they're not easily found. So I wanna make this video showing you how to actually use them and uh, show you why I would use them. Now, I will say this is probably one of my more important videos because of the importance of changing your website to function correctly from desktop to tablet to mobile. This is a very important video, so I suggest you stay tuned for the whole thing. I'm going to try and make it very short and sweet and simple, but uh, stay tuned for the whole thing. And if you're new to the channel, be sure and smash that nice red look and subscribe button. Join the family if you haven't already. Be notified of future videos just like this one or other Elementor news, tips, tricks, and hacks. Let's go ahead and jump into my computer. All right, guys, so here we are in my computer. And uh, like I said, guys, I'm super excited about this Black Friday deal. I'm running Elementor Pro on my website. Check out that link down below in the description. See what kind of price you can get for Elementor Pro. Now, here we are in my computer. I'm gonna make this very short and simple and sweet. Basically, when a user visits your website, just so we know what responsiveness is, basically when a user visits your website, they load up either the desktop version, which is going to be anything that is you know bigger than a tablet size, or they're going to visit the tablet version. So when we click on this, you can see this is the tablet version right here. And when we click on mobile, you can actually see this is what the mobile version looks like. Now I wanna show you down here, if you wanna switch your views, you have this responsive mode button. You can switch back and forth to see what the view looks like of your website. Now. I honestly think that this is a nice feature, but there is another hidden feature that nobody, or hidden setting, I should say, that nobody really knows about. All right, so let's go back to desktop and just show you what I have here. I have three different elements here. Um, this right here, this is a text editor, and I've gone ahead and just typed in some text through multiple lines here. So I have one line of text, and then a, a line break, and then another line of text, and then a line break. And in order to kind of keep those line breaks nice and thin, I've gone ahead and hit style and I've hit typography and I've dropped the line height down to half. Now notice this will cause some problems here if you continue on typing, it will kind of overlap the text, but we're not gonna worry about that right now. This is just one random setting I'm changing throughout my website and we're gonna see how it functions on the other devices. This, this this exact setting doesn't matter. It could be any setting. It could be overlapping images. It could be a, a button that shakes or wiggles. It could be anything, any absolutely anything that you change on your website. You'll wanna, after you make that change, go into responsive mode and check the other devices. How does it look on tablet? Is it still functioning correctly on tablet? Now look at this. You can see, I'll zoom in here, you can see the text is being overlapped. Okay, so let's say it works fine on desktop. That's exactly how I want it. But I come to tablet and I'm like, oh no, dang it. I've got, you know, all my changes that I've made are not gonna work on tablet. So I'm gonna have to go and make all my changes again. Well, not necessarily. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. When you make changes on desktop, they are reflected to the tablet and mobile version of your site. Unless, and this unless is very important, unless you make device specific changes. So we have our changes made here on desktop. Our changes were that we changed the line height to 0.4. What we're gonna do is now go into the responsive mode, go back to tablet, 
And now when we go ahead and edit this element, you're gonna see up here, if you can see this, this is now changed to tablet. This means any kind of changes that we're making here on this, this uh, these settings right here are going to be reflected to tablet only. So we're gonna go ahead, you can actually click this and adjust desktop, tablet, or mobile. These are the settings specific for that device. If you don't change, make any changes on a tablet or a mobile device, they will default back to whatever settings are on desktop. If you haven't made any settings on desktop, they'll default back to what Elementor's default settings are. So let's go ahead and just make a specific adjustment just to tablet and show you what this looks like. So we're gonna go over to here to typography and you can see the line height now is not set. That's because it's defaulting back to the desktop, which was 0.4. And obviously this is not looking good as that we're getting overlapping text. So let's go ahead and just increase that line height. And as you can see right over here, we now have that line height increased. Everything is pushing on to the next line. It looks very nicely there. Let's just leave it at 1.5, perfect. All right, now let's go ahead and check and see how this these changes were actually reflected on other devices. If we go over to desktop, you can see now our line height, if we edit the element and go into typography, is still set to 0.4. That means when anyone views this desktop, this website from a desktop, the line height will be set to 0.4. When they switch over to view it from a tablet, their line height is now set to 1.5. This is crucial, guys. If you're making websites for multiple devices like tablet and mobile, you have to check and make sure all your features are functioning and working correctly and the style is looking the way you want it. If it's not, Elementor has this amazing feature, which we just talked about, where you can actually make those device-specific adjustments. That is crucial. So be sure and, and use that feature. You take advantage of that because that is just a huge um, you know, opportunity for us to design our websites how we want them um, through different devices. Now, the other thing I wanted to show you, that was, that was part one here. Um, sometimes on mobile, you want to stack multiple things next to each other. See how like on the desktop version, we have three things side by side. Well, say you wanted maybe like two things side by side here, right? So we go over to mobile. Now you can see it's all being pushed down. So we have the video and then our next column is below it. And then our next, our third column is down below that. Well, say you wanted to put things side by side and maybe in this example with this, you know, just um, example page, this tutorial page, it's not gonna make a lot of sense, but maybe you do have multiple things that you need stacked side by side, like icons, or for example, when we made that uh, digital business card, check out this video, I, I have a card right up now of this digital business card. When we stack the different social media icons next to each other, what we're gonna do is actually go into the column settings. We hover over and click this column settings right here. We need to set a column width. Now this column width is a percentage, not a percentage of the page, but a percentage of basically how much width we're taking up on the span of 100% of the page. So basically right here, it's not set to anything. We want this column to only take up 50% of the width right? So now it's set to 50%. Now nothing moved up or anything like that because these other columns are not set to a specific width. So I'm going to go ahead and hit edit column here and set this to a 50% width as well. Now you can see this kind of looks ridiculous with these this example content that I've put on here, but you can see we're getting that effect. We're getting the two columns side by side in the button down below, which is our third column because that one is not set. Now say we wanted to have three columns side by side on mobile. You can actually do this. You just simply click it turn it to 33% and click this one, turn this one to 33% and click this one and turn this one to 33%. And suddenly we have three columns side by side on mobile. So guys, there's, there's just, if you focus on these two settings that I've shown you, one actually going in and making the edits to your, um, mobile version, your desktop version, like this right here, your um, uh, tablet version. If you make those changes right there specifically for device, if anything looks kind of funky on a specific device, go into it, make those individual changes. And then if you actually set your column widths to whatever you want, um, you'll have a really awesome, cool designed website. And as you can see, the 
changes on desktop are not changed. It is just simply reflected on mobile or tablet. And uh, yeah, that's a really awesome um, low key feature that Elementor has that not a lot of people know about that some people, you know, get frustrated with it because they're making changes on desktop, but they don't look good on mobile. So you, you need to use this setting to be able to do that. Now, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. I'm super excited about the Black Friday sale. Even if you missed the Black Friday sale, Elementor Pro is an incredible plugin. So check out that link down below in the description. See what kind of price you can get for it. Like I said, it has so many features and I have a lot of videos on those features if you're interested, but there are just infinite features on Elementor Pro. I really truly believe it is an incredible plugin. Also, be sure and smash that nice red look and subscribe button. If you're not a part of the family yet, join the family, be notified of upcoming videos just like this one. And that's all I got for you guys today. I will be back on my channel coming up this week to remind you guys about that awesome Black Friday sale. So I'll catch you guys later on in the week. Take care.